the most famous, the most used, the most successful bowling ball of recent times, the most consistent. Six and a half hours later. The most glorious. Okay, let's not waste time. The purple pearl from Hammer. A not quite urethane bowling ball that uh, hooks a lot more than urethane but uh, still does it gradually. The core is symmetric, which uh, complements the core stock and uh, offers a continuous arc motion. And because it has a low differential, it doesn't flare much, which makes it controllable. And because the uh, core is a high RG core, it means that it will become stable later, so closer to the pins, so it offers a controllability and a, a continuous motion close to the pins, if the pattern allows. But, sometimes it doesn't hook enough, and it hooks even less if you have a low RPM. Like me. Well, what if it had twice the differential? But how? Well, Hammer actually already produces such a ball, which is the 16 pound purple hammer. Yes, the 16 pound purple hammer has twice the differential of the 15 or the 14, so it can hook more. Well, recently I got mine, so I'm gonna throw it. And share my thoughts. Alright, here we are. The purple pin is the 14 pound purple hammer. And I'm going to scan both bowling balls on the track flare area, which is the area that comes in contact with the lane. So the 14 pound ball is. Uh, 1400 grit. Now let's get the chubby one. The 16 pounder, which has a green pin. Again, being scanned in the same area. Which for me is not very far from the finger holes. And this one is fifteen hundred. So indeed, I prepared them as close as possible. So we have the same cover stock formula, the same grid preparation, the same core, the same RG, the same layouts. The only difference is that the sixteen one has twice the differential, from fifteen to thirty. So let's compare shots from three areas. One area is going to be pretty much uh, down and in from second arrow. One is going to be from 15 to 10. And the last one is going to be from 20 to 12. So this will cover three frequent lines that people play. So we're going to get uh, an idea of uh, what the differences are when two bowling balls only have uh, different uh, differential and uh, different weight. Let's see. Here we are with uh, the 16 pound one around second arrow and it goes Brooklyn. I am using a medium axis rotation and speed and the ball reads the mid lane and is very continuous near the pins as you can see. 14 pounds now. Big difference here. Light pocket 10 pin. This is 12 to 10 instead of 11 to 10, but other than that, pretty much identical shot. And it hooked much less than the 16 pound ball. Very interesting. Another one with the 16 pound ball, more accurately down and in on 10 this time. And it's Brooklyn again. So I'm not throwing it bad, it just wants to go Brooklyn from second arrow. 14 pounds again, a bit of grabbing there, causing a bit of loft but goes flush. 
So again, the 14 pound is giving me a decent pocket, while the 16 pound one always a Brooklyn. Very, very interesting. 15 to 10 now with the 16 pound ball, and it's a pocket 4 pin. So high in the pocket, probably 18 to 19th board. 14 pounds now, light pocket this one. So still a difference, but smaller from this angle. So instead of 4 to 6 boards of difference that they had on the down and in shots, now they seem to have half of that, around 3 boards. Still significant and uh, very nice to know. Let's open up the angle a little bit more. 16 pounds, 21 to 13, good pocket. Let's see if the 14 pound one can get even closer to that. Remember, it was 3 to 4 boards difference in the previous launch angle. 14 pounds, here we go. Let's see. Wow, identical flush strike. I wasn't expecting that. Very, very interesting. It seems that the extra differential, and maybe the extra weight for that matter, of the 16 pound ball makes the ball hook a little bit more on straight lines, meaning down and in, meaning zero launch angle. For this test, uh, my difference was uh, seemed to be around six to seven boards, meaning one ball went uh, to a light pocket and one ball went to Brooklyn. On a small launch angle, third arrow to second arrow, it still hooks more, but not as much as before. The 14 pound hit very light, but the 16 pound hit flush or a bit high, so maybe three or four boards, about half the previous difference. On a larger launch angle, 4th arrow to 2.5 arrow at breakpoint, their difference seems to have gone completely. Zero boards of hook difference. Cool. So, depending on where you want to play, the extra differential of a ball can offer a different advantage. And maybe we, it seems that we can measure that advantage. And that advantage seems larger in straight shorts, but smaller when you play an angle. And the larger angle you play, you play, the less the advantage. Did you know that? I didn't. If you want to learn more cool things, please subscribe, like, share, or donate with the links in the description. And hit the bell icon because YouTube doesn't show small channels like mine on your daily feed unless you visit them yourself daily. Thanks for watching and see you on the next one.